Hello and good morning, witches. How are you? It's been a while. I'm sorry I've been MIA. I haven't even been doing my readings lately. But I did get a Tamed Wild box. A good big one. So, I'm going to open it for you. Mm, I see the words connecting with your higher self. But we're not going to read those things because we want to be surprised. I see some kind of deck already. Let me pull it out. The journaling deck. Ooh. The journaling deck. How is everyone? Uh, I'm not going to bother trying to open that on screen. I feel like it's going to take too long. Uh, ooh, these are nice. I see little bottles of various herbs. Ooh, ooh a nice mugwort. That's a good chunk of mugwort. And look at these glass bottles. Reusable! You know how I feel about that? Metal. Good chunk of metal, too. That's a lot. Uh, 0.5 ounces in each bottle. What else we got? Demania. Or Demania? Or Demania? It's not Demania. Don't at me. It's not early, and I have had coffee, but my brain is slow these days. I blame it on the fact that full moon's on Friday. <laughs> this looks like some kind of altar cloth or rune thing. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's interesting. Definitely some kind of runey. It's got a... Hello, goodbye, yes, no. A uh, pendulum, maybe. Pendulum mat? Very pretty. Very pretty. Love the black and white. Yeah, I think it's a pendulum reading mat. Wanna bet there's a pendulum in here somewhere? This looks like a good box, guys. All right, as you know, Tim Dwyer does quarterly boxes now. So I had to contact their customer service recently. They did a great job taking care of me. The High Priestess necklace. Actually, I already have one of these from an early, early box. Let me see if I can get it out of this tiny plastic. I really wish they would use less plastic, but I get it. They have to be able to ship these tiny little things in boxes. All right, let me see if I can get it on here. Mm, the light's going to be the problem. High Priestess Tarot Guard. All right, what's next? All right, I got a tag on here that says Amethyst. I love Amethyst. I have a ton of Amethyst. Ooh, this is a nice chunky point of amethyst. Pretty light purple in there, but very nice. That's a good, that's a good palm of amethyst there. Amethyst is believed to bring luck and prosperity, prevent marital infidelity, and soothe the mind and soul. It is a also a popular so, stone to use during meditation and grounding. It is said that an amethyst will change color if the wearer is under a spell of black ma magic, fearless, fearfulness, or deception. I can totally read, guys. Wine served in goblets made of amethyst was said to change color if the drink was poisoned or toxic. Hmm. Interesting. We used it for kind of a healing meditative stone all right we got a cute little package with a cute little moon sticker gonna try not to ruin this sticker all right let's in here oh look at these little tea lights tea candles they've herbed them with something can't tell from the smell but they definitely have little herbies on them must be for the ritual We'll go through that if I have time at the end with the ritual guide, say. 
what they should be used for. Oh, I got a big chunky thank you box. Oh, my box includes an additional free item that is not part of the seasonal box. This item was chosen at random from our stock and is a gift to show appreciation for your order. You can tell which item it is. It is the one that's not listed on the box card. I think they put this inside here so that that's what it is. Uh, I got this cute little moon incense plate, which I have already gotten as well, but I will take another one of those. They are so cute. Let's see what's in here. Oh, a little worry stone. That's cool. I'm gonna guess that that's uh, probably a venturine. Queen of venturine. Most likely. Very pretty. Awesome. I love getting little extras. That's great. Alright, let's keep digging. There's lots of stuff in here. Got a couple more little bags. Got a big box here. Can't tell what that is. Alright, let's open these little bags first. Hmm, little purple bag. I like the material that's made out of. And it's really pretty. Hold on while I take it out of this plastic. Look at that. Phantom Quartz, I'm going to guess, because of the clarity and the little, um, I don't know if you can see well, but there is little white bits there that make it look like Phantom Quartz to me. Come on, camera, focus. He doesn't want to. It hates me. It really does hate me, guys. I think you can kind of see that on there. You see the different colors? It's beautiful. I love that. I have a few pendulums. I don't use them a ton, but that is gorgeous. I love the um, little bead that you hold it by so you don't drop it. Very pretty. Really love that. So, let's see what's in this one. I wonder if it's another one. <gasps> it's nice, y'all. I have so many dice. Because I'm also a D&D &D nerd. In case you were wondering. But look at these dice. They look like they're D10s. But they are like a cloudy white. Pearlescent. Let's see. I got a 2 and a 0. So we're going to go with 20. Or I guess we could go with 2. 85. All right, awesome, really cool. <laughs> Always happy with dice. Don't know that I'll divine with them, but we'll definitely put them in my dice stash. All right, this looks like one of the last things in here. Let's see what this is. It's all in the book in there. I think that'll be really cool too. All right, what do we get? What do we get? Oh, it's a little. Oh, it's got a candles. It's beautiful. Oh, I put this on my altar. It's a little off center. That's gonna drive me slightly crazy. That's funny because that's the name of my business. A little off center. Uh, definitely supposed to be used with these tea lights. Oh, I love this. Oh, so cute. Look at how cute it is. It's a definite, like, light wood. Very pretty. And save all this wrapping and stuff. There's one more thing in here. I think that's everything. I'll show it to you in just a second while I check. Yep. Yeah. All right. So the workbook this time around is Shadow. Shadow workbook, which fits very well with the um, season we're going into, Samhain, and the dark time of the 
of the Wheel of the Year, so we're going to be focusing a lot on shadow work. So, this looks great. Let me see if I can flip through it real quick and see if there's anything really stand out -y. I meant to use my little book way more uh, this, this season. I did not. I have not had time to journal or anything the way I wanted to. But let's see. Week one prompts. Day one. What are some emotions that I have been avoiding or suppressing? What triggers cause me to feel strong emotions and how do I usually react to these triggers? Let's see if there's anything else really cool. Here's a planet in their astrological meanings page. That's really pretty. Uh, so the sun, identity, consciousness, ego, father, uh, moon, subconscious, emotional needs, instincts, mother. And then it just kind of goes down. Mercury, communication, Venus, beauty, Mars, action, assertiveness, expansion for Jupiter, boundaries for Saturn, rebellion for Uranus, Uranus. Spirituality, dreams, and inspiration for Neptune. Transformation and subconscious intensity for Pluto. Ooh, pretty. Coloring page. That's pretty. The quote says, I am not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. Carl Jung. Anybody who's doing shadow work knows Carl Jung, right? Uh, week two prompts. Ways to break. take a break from shadow work. Um, and then it just lists some, go for a walk, take a yoga class, lay on a blanket in the grass and stare at the sky, stuff like that. Uh, let me see if there's anything else cool in here. Hello, underworld explorers, shadow dancers, and those who wish to embrace that which is dark, velvety, and strange. This comes at a time where I have just recently started to feel more called to be... I don't want to say dark side. <laughs> the ritual for ancestor veneration. That's also right up, that, up right up my alley. A couple more little letter bits in there. Oh, look at this one. I love that. Until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. That's a good one too. Carl Jung again. Nurturing the creative spirit. I cannot wait to dig into this book. I don't want to go through this whole book with you guys. Let me flip through it real quick and see if there's anything else really cool that I want to show you. There's some cool tarot prompts. Um, I am so excited. Calling back your energy. Just some really cool stuff. Another coloring page. The privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are. Um, I love the coloring pages. This looks like a great book for this time of the year. I can't wait to get into it. The journaling deck, I want to try to get open. I don't want to box cut over here because this cup is plastic. We're at 13 minutes. I don't want to hold you guys up a ton of time here. Um, but I think this book, this um, box is really worth going through. Um, and giving it its time because it really is very detailed. Um, how to work with this deck. The journaling deck by Tamed Wild was created as a tool for self-exploration and self-appreciation. With thought-provoking questions and prompts, we hope to entice you to explore, play, and find meaning in who you are in this world. The deck is easy to use. Simply choose a prompt and begin writing. If you wish to include divination in your practice, simply roll the dice and pull the card number that coincides with the dice roll. Add the numbers together, subtra subtract, or create double digits. Let your intuition be your guide. There are 31 cards in this deck, one for each day of the month. Work your way through. Work your way from 1 to 31 if you're feeling more linear. The options are endless. And then it has a little about the author. Um, a little about Tamed Wild. <clears throat> Love Tamed Wild. I've said that so many times. Let me read you some of these. I'm just going to randomly, randomly choose like a tarot deck. Oh, one fell out. Look at that. All right, here's your question. Here's your homework, guys. And then leave it in the comments for me. My biggest insecurity is... 
how can I build confidence in place of this insecurity? So if you're comfortable telling us, tell us. If you're not, write it in your journal. But where is somewhere you're insecure? I have a bunch. <laughs> uh, I deal with imposter syndrome a lot. Uh, especially um, doing things like this, especially doing my tarot readings, even though I've gotten great feedback from friends about my tarot readings, it's like, I still feel very, oh, I don't know enough yet. I am perpetually and always the student though. <laughs> Excuse me for moving. Anyway, uh, we're coming up on fall. Well, we're in fall now. Maven was great here. I hope you guys had a great Maven as well, or autumn equinox, whatever you want to call it. Um, Maybon, I guess I should say it properly. Not that I say anything properly. Anyway, um, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I will try to get on either Instagram or YouTube to do a tarot reading soon. I've got some um, waiting to be read for um, that is available if you guys want a direct tarot reading from me. I am taking those right now. I'm not currently charging, but if it becomes like a thing that people want me to do a lot, I will start charging. Or at least asking for like tips um, because it does take a little bit of my time um, and I am trying to grow that side of things so um, you might see some changes coming and going I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do everything yet but I'm embracing some things and just listening to the call as much as I can I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day it's pretty early here I am going to probably get some lunch. <laughs> Have a wonderful day.